We got deer and turkey out there. I'm Beth Peterson. I'm Tony Peterson. This is Paisley. I don't know if you can see Paisley down here. She's six. <laughs> we met, uh, so when I was at uh, coaching at Marshall, I got a job at uh, Minnesota in the Big Ten, moved there, and uh, Beth was living there, and that's where we met. Andy's 26, yep. Nikki's 24, and Taylor just turned 18. The two oldest ones are in Minnesota. Andy, he's an engineer for Anderson Windows, and then Nikki's a nurse in St. Paul. And then Taylor is about to be a freshman at Florida State. It will be a nine hour ride home that will be like, I'll just be crying the entire time. I can think of everything through everywhere that we've been, every stop, and it just feels like yesterday. It's just gone really fast. I was at Marshall for eight years and Minnesota for eight years, so that was 16 years at two places. And then after that, it seems like it's been kind of a three-year rotation, which there's been a lot of good to it and, and a lot of, you know, you wish you wouldn't move and, and a lot of negative to it. So we're ready to settle down and excited about coming up here, and, and hopefully we're going to be here a long time. My brother has a place in Lake Tahoe, and two summers ago when I went up there, we rented uh, some mountain bikes and went and did it. And I said, you know, if I ever live somewhere where I can do this, I'm going to buy one of these. And so I have a good time over there. I go just fast enough that it's fun, but I'm not going to get in any trouble. He does that by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I would go over the handlebars if I did that. Beth and I, I've always golfed. I like golf, and, and Beth and I golf together, so we've played here a couple times over at Boone. And the last six years, I picked up hunting like that. And so great place for that up here. We'll see kind of where that ends up. Don't get to do it too much because of football. I actually went and golfed with uh, Noah, uh, uh, Th uh, Thomas, and uh, who else was there? TD was there. They all lost. <laughs> but we had a great time. It was awesome. You know what? The one thing I, I can't say enough about up here is, is App State, Coach Clark, the coaches in the past, they do a great job of recruiting great kids, great character, academics, the whole nine yards. I mean, we got some of the best kids. I've been doing this a long time, and we've got some great kids here. Chad's one of the best people I've ever met. Had him for three years. Talked to him on the phone the other day, a couple weeks ago. And then Randy was with us for two years at Marshall. Uh, one year when we were one AA and the next year we're in Division One. To see where he's come from, where he was, is awesome. I mean, he's done a great job. You know, Marshall and App State have a, have a really special relationship, and I, I was part of that both times, and, and so I'm, I'm excited to be here. My main sport was always baseball. I really didn't start playing football until I was a sophomore in high school, and uh, so when I graduated, I decided to go to a junior college in California and play baseball. So I got there, and, and the football coach talked me into playing football. So. I played my freshman and sophomore year of football. I played baseball my freshman year, and then I was recruited by San Jose State. I took a trip to Kansas State and Marshall, and I, I left mid-semester. I went on the trip to Marshall and called my mom and dad, and I said, hey, school started a week ago. They want me to come here, and I really like it, and so I'm staying. When I was done, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and so I sent out some resumes and thought I'd go give, you know, being a GA a try just to, you know, kind of buy some time. So I was at Kentucky for one year as a GA, went back to Marshall. I was there for eight years. Um, and even during that time, I wasn't sure absolutely that coaching was going to be my career. I, I remember going into Jim Donnan's office, who was the head coach at the time, and, and a couple times I was like, Coach, I think I'm going to go do something else. You know, I mean, this isn't and he convinced me to stay. Coach Clark is awesome, and when the opportunity came, if anything, it was me coming after him. It was an opportunity that I couldn't wait to get involved in, and I, I told my wife, I said, if we can get that app job, that's where we're going. I wanna go somewhere that's got a great program, great kids, coaches, fans, the whole thing, and this is the kind of place that I wanted to be, and so I probably pursued him a little bit harder than he pursued me, but he was awesome, he brought me in, we had a great visit, went through the whole interview process and then offered me the job and I took it on the spot. You know, the first thing is, is when I got here and, and I loved about Coach Clark and just how they do things, is for us to recruit somebody, they have to have a certain GPA and they have to have a certain character. We're not settling there. I've been at other places where character and GPA 
didn't matter as long as you thought they could play good football. I think one of the keys is when I came in here and interviewed with Coach Clark is I told him, I said, listen, App State's been very successful doing what they've done. App State needs to keep their offense. So I'm, I'm here to help them do as well as they can do. And this isn't my offense, this, isn't this is App State's offense, and it's gonna stay that way.